Hey, it's me. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to carry small stuff, uh, everyday carry EDC. I've always been a fan of carrying some of the smaller stuff like pens, notepads, lighters, um, things like that on me uh, instead of just in my jacket pocket or uh, whatnot. Um, so I always carried a small uh, waist bag or a fanny pack uh, on me with uh, carrying the smaller stuff with me. Uh, for the longest time, I've been using chalk bags, which are, you know, bags that climbers use for uh, rock climbing to keep their chalk in. Um, this is one of them that I have it's by North Face. Um, the reason why I like these is that they have usually have a really nice soft fabric so it doesn't scratch my phone as easily um, or my glasses um, when I throw them in there. They usually have a, um, uh, a structured opening so that it stays open um, so you can throw your hand in, grab things out, throw it back in and then you cinch the top up um, so that it closes. So, um, yeah, I've always been a fan of these. Um, the problem with this one in particular, there is none, except for the fact that my phone got bigger as my iPhone got bigger and hand sanitizer and a lot of other things. So uh, it's, it's become a little bit too small for me. So last year, um, I went and made me a bigger one. Uh, you can make this uh, decently simple. Uh, there are a lot of plans online. Uh, that you can get for free. There's a couple YouTube video clips that are out there to, how to show you how to make one. Uh, this one is a little bit more elaborate. It has like a side pocket, throw things in there. Um, very over-engineered, typical me um, in a way. Um, and, you know, I use this for a very long time too. Same principle, structured opening, uh, you know, uh, pull top that closes it down. Um, except for the fact that l lately I've started to feel the weight of the bag alone. Um, now, this goes now to the discussion of fabric, what do you use for fabric? Um, and this one is using 1000 denier, denier Cordura. So it's actually 1050, I think, uh, but I usually refer to it as 1000 denier Cordura. This is the typical stuff that you see um, marketed, I guess, as ballistic nylon, you know, your tactical backpacks, your 511 rush bags, those kind of things are that material. Um, which you know, I have a sample of it here. This is the orange one. Um, it's 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 a nice rugged material. It doesn't give us much. It's not as difficult to saw um, with a regular household um, a sawing machine. Except when you once you start hitting up multiple layers, that's when it gets real tricky. And also, um, I feel like it dulls my needle a lot quicker than other material. So after a couple runs, you know, I have to usually change the needles and, you know, I'm adjusting the, the uh, sewing string weight strengths uh, for this material can be tricky depending on my sewing machine. So it's all right. And, you know, I'm kind of over the whole tactical, tactical materials phase. Um, I'm moving away from it. I don't go into super hostile environments. I don't need this much of uh, strengths. Uh, to it so that's I'm moving away from this I have, I have used 500 denier Cordura which I don't have a sample here but it's half the weight super simple um, I think that's my favorite material to use for making smaller pouches uh, because of uh, its ease of usage uh, it's a lot more softer uh, a lot less harsher on my needles so I, I've been using that a lot um, but lately I've been on a kick of a little bit of an ultralight kick um, speci specifically after I did the uh, 10 hour walk, uh, war walk last year, um, I realized that, you know, as much weight I can shed, like if you carry a backpack that's heavy, like I think a Rush 12 backpack by 511 is about a kilo, I think it's 1.3 ish. Um, and then the street creek that I carried that day was, I think it's like 750. So that's a lot lighter, but still, um, I got an even lighter one. Um, uh, I got a, a new backpack that's only 500 grams, uh, full bare weight of the full backpack. Um, and um, 500 grams is less than two cans of beer. And you know, you might not think of that as a big difference, but when you start doing war walks over three hours, you know, that 300 gram really starts to wear on you because you're carrying that much extra weight just to carry stuff. And it's the same for fanny packs in the sense that if you build a fanny pack and, you know, like you do things like this, you know, all the extra weight 
that you're adding on to it um, if you make your fanny pack too heavy it will feel like your pants are being pulled down and they're not as comfortable so you know volume and and weight becomes a little bit more critical when you start to build your own fanny packs so I've, I've been a little bit on ultra light kick so I tried uh, 40 deniers um, ripstop which is this material um, this is the typical things you see in uh, in uh, stuff sacks, you know, you, you buy the sack for your backpack or when you're traveling. That's usually 40 denier ripstop. It's super lightweight, um, so I made one of these super lightweight. It's not as fancy as the other one. It's a little bit taller, but it's the same principle. Forced, you know, uh, structured uh, opening, you know, uh, with a with a with a top that you can cinch down and close. Um, Ripstop is uh, is an interesting material to use. I had to. There's a little bit of a learning curve in the sense that it's really slippery, so you have to kind of be careful when you saw. Otherwise, you end up with a bunched up piece of material. But nothing too difficult. Um, also, you wanna you wanna you wanna treat the edges so it doesn't it doesn't fray itself. Um, so there's a little bit of that. But yeah, it's I mean it's lightweight. It's not as fancy as the other one, but it's functioning. But then I was watching a, um, a documentary about uh, the Great Himalayan Trail and one of the backpackers there had this gorgeous fabric that I'd never seen before. It was this white fabric with these unique cross patterns. Um, so I looked it up and it's this it's a material called um, Expat, which is this material. Now this isn't a fiber, this is actually a fabric, um, which is different in a sense that this is multiple layers of nylon uh, la laminated together and inside you, this X pattern is actually uh, polyester uh, material that is being laminated and sandwiched between these different layers of nylon and a laminating coat I think which gives it its structure its strengths uh, it actually was used as a initially I guess as a as a sail cloth material for race uh, racing sail uh, sailboats um, so yeah, I mean, so you know, I, I tracked down a distributor um, in Japan and I bought a couple meters of this material. Um, it's in, it's unique in a sense that it almost feels like paper. Um, so it you know, and then if you fold it, it holds the stream pretty well. So it's 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 not that difficult to work with. So uh, I decided to make a fanny pack out of this one, um, rather than the going with the chalk pattern, uh, chalk bag pattern. This one actually I, I made a little pouch. Um, version of it. Um, this is the fourth version. Uh, the first one I put on Instagram is a bit bigger than this. Um, once again, going back to size, weight, you know, you want to strike a happy medium. So after a couple of revisions of size wise, I end up at about this size. Um, so, you know, it's about that. It's basically the man dump bags in a smaller scale that I made. Um, it has uh, two loops here. Uh, a handle so I can carry it or can hook it up to the to a wall if I if I'm done with it or you know whatnot. Come the strap goes like that. I can cinch it down to adjust to my waist. Uh, and the strap comes off so that I can carry it as a purse, I guess. Or um, yeah, and if I'm if I have a backpack with a with a hip belt, I can just loop it through there and carry it. Um, so. Yeah, so this, um, weight-wise, um, to understand the differences in weight, this North Face one is um, 71 grams. So that's, that's, that's the base where I started off. Um, then this one that I made with all the hardware and all the whistles on it is 172. So this is more than twice than this weight, which is ridiculous by itself, but okay, fair enough. Then the extreme other end is ripstop. This one, this one is about um, 45 grams. So half the weight of almost half the weight of the of the North Face one is with, with ripstop. So it's it's super mild. I think I'll I'll use it as one of my uh, my travel waist pouches in case I, you know I get back on the road again. This one um, with with, with the strap and everything on it, except for you know the gloves and everything, uh, is about uh, 57 grams. So it's it, you know it's in between the North Face and and the Rip Sub one. So you, you, that's where the weight uh, kind of sits. Um, and also you know, so you know um, 
EDC everyday carry gear videos are one of my favorite videos on YouTube. So I'll, I figured I'd show you what's inside this pack that I carry every day. So right now I have these uh, North Face Gore-Tex gloves. The weather's a little bit colder. I have a bunch of different weight of gloves depending on the weather that they use. Um, I found out, you know, if you do a lot of war walking or you walk outside, having a nice pair of gloves actually really helps you feel normal, not fighting the weather so much, especially during the cold weathers. Um, these North Face ones are a little bit smaller than my other gloves, but um, they have the best um, touch, sens touch sensitivity for, uh, for uh, touch screens. So um, this, these gloves, I actually can use my phone without having to take them off. Um, they're not as soft because of the Gore-Tex material, but they're great gloves for the weather that it is now right now. Um, then I have a uh, one of these uh, lens cloths. These are kind of neat in the sense that you know I can wipe my lens on my phone or my glasses, and then um, it comes with its own pouch so that, and it doesn't fall out. So right, so it's just once you're done, you just kind of <coughs> bunch it up in there, and it has a little SP spinner that I attach to keep it out. Now this string on the side actually has a purpose in the sense that when you have a fanny pack, opening it up is usually a lot easier than closing by having this string here. I can pull on both sides and it will close a lot easier. Um, also, if you've never done this, I strongly suggest you add zip, uh, a little bit of cordage on your zippers, which makes them opening and closing a lot easier because you have that much leverage on it. So, so what's in here? Well, extra pair of masks. I usually wear a mask, but just in case. Uh, very simple first aid kit, bandage, painkillers, stuff like that. Uh, boo boo kit, you know, uh, plastic bag trash you know little things um, this is a recent purchase too that I liked um, this is a Western digital portable SSD one terabyte I like this because it has its own corded into it built into it so you know don't have to carry extra cord for that uh, hand lotion um, because of the you know hand sanitizers dry my fingers out it's been really dry in Tokyo this winter so uh, just to make it easier spray hand sanitizer you know a lot of hand sanitizer notepad um, I love these little notepads they're you know they just kind of flip open they're super useful my older kid got me a stack of these for Christmas so he knows me very well <laughs> uh, tissue paper blow my nose um, anchor power battery you know uh, with some with some corded uh, charging cords, uh, wet wipes, alcohol wet wipes, just in case you know I want to wipe my fingers really clean or the surface. Uh, space pen, always always carry a space pen. These things I love; they never fail. They go great with this with this little notepad. You know, it's, it's about the same size. So, um, flashlight. Uh, this is one of my everyday carry flashlights. It's just. Stylus Pro by Streamlight, super bright, bright enough. You, I really don't need anything more than that. I already carry enough flashlights on me. Speaking of head torch um, by uh, Petzl, this was one of these. This was one of those. Um, it's 4 a.m. I'm bored, and Amazon is my friend kind of purchase. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Um, they're, they're super handy when I do, you know, when I need something. And also when I did the war walk, um, I realized that um, having something to to light up in front of me as I walk through, like when I was doing the real walk, um, yeah, I wish I had this on me. So I decided to buy one. So, And then uh, ba Bash Bunny, because you never know when you're going to need one. So, yeah. Um, inside it's so it's like that. There's a little loop here in the inside that I made so that uh, my uh, St Stylus Pro just kind of sits in there. So, because I use that the most, I think, out of all the things. So, but yeah, so that's my first X Pack Fanny Pack that I built. Um, I hope this was informational uh, or entertaining at least. Uh, stay safe, be kind to each other. And uh, I'll see you around.